uh, I thought I would ruffle some feathers today. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of people uh, dating, <laughs> uh, dating their clients, uh, you know, life coaches dating their clients and trying to keep them on for as long as possible. And they're just drilling the same thing. You are the maker of your reality. You are the manifestor of your reality. Just think positive. Uh, theory of attraction. Okay, so the language of this is marketing. It is commercial. So I talked a little bit about fast sales uh, this month. And I'm seeing uh, coaches, because it's such a boring system, it is almost like partially religious by now, like Esther Hicks, you know, Tony Robbins. This old system is so like 20 years ago. And I'm hearing you, I think it's also awesome. I've used a little bit of this myself, but um, eventually it didn't make me very happy. It just led me towards more denial and decay <laughs> and disorder. So um, a lot of these life coaches, especially women these days, lots of chicks doing it these days, um, I'm seeing you guys. Like I, I just want you to know that uh, it's not what life is about. So when you look at life, it's not just about I want it and I will have it. I'm a daddy's little gal and I want all the goodies. Um, now, if you actually also listen to Esther Hicks and what she's saying, uh, very soon, unless you're very, very much in denial, you'll understand that she's a very cruel person. If, if that is not enough, uh, listen to her stuff backwards. So this is what I uh, have uh, seen online. There are people playing recordings of people's voices backwards and you see what their unconscious uh, messages, subconscious messages. And it's just very sat satanic. It's like... Uh, the Bethlehem. I want and I will have and if I get it right I will get what I want. So basically uh, stop teaching people this shit and also that uh, sex love magic, that positivity, you know, it's like uh, you can be happy with a crystal dildo, uh, put a yoni egg up your vagina. I'm really sorry I have to get graphic with you girls guys. Um, this is really not needed and uh, partially why I'm also feeling to step down as a tutor, as a architect I suppose for people's lives or like uh, I suppose advice givers because I just don't want to be measured up to any one of these people and I don't want to come along for the ride which is um, going on in the world for anybody who thinks they know anything that they don't really um, want to maybe share the root system of so um, in terms of being a teacher being an advisor not that many of us have it all together and I also got to say, uh, the limit of being an advisor is that you don't sometimes get to really learn or offer yourself any help. And uh, I've been one of those dusty uh, books on the shelf. I've been one of those people that have uh, eventually become dusty. Eckhart Tolle, uh, also, uh, don't annoy me with that stuff. I'm sorry. I won't annoy you as well. Just saying the name uh, gets me uh, kind of uncomfortable. So, um, gurus, I saw this thing online today. It was like, don't uh, trust in gurus, trust in plants. And I definitely would have to say yeah it's true uh plant kingdom and your own inner world and wisdom is so intricate it is so spaced out it is so uh interesting it is so curious it is so exact you don't really need anything else you know if you just get your biology together if you crack your system through certain plants and medicines or exercises you'll do good you know it doesn't even matter if you got like i don't know pluto chiron you know, conjunction with Mars at a square, doesn't matter, it never mattered, so that's the thing, and uh, yeah, I don't want to be boring here, but like, I honestly think there's a lot of crooks, and I think a lot of like, um, new world psychology has just become a marketing scheme, and people wanting to live their um, best lifestyle yet, and um, I don't think that's, it's all about like, um, this, you know, I don't think this is, it's all about this, it's also about just like, people starting to um, corrupt, and I think it's also very like genuine for me to say I also was one of those people. I just stopped feeling anything after having so many clients and doing so much work for people. I also stopped uh, feeling. And that started making my body really tired. And I got really kind of old. And uh, then eventually, yeah, I had to exercise and do all this crazy shit just because I didn't know how to break myself back into myself. Um, so yeah, all this guru stuff, uh, completely fake. Uh, a lot of that stuff you see uh, on the internet is totally false. And um, unless you have a special genius about you, a special type of brain chemistry, it's always just market, usually just marketing. If you don't know the person, also, yeah, test me if you like. Test anybody else. Ask them a question and see what they say because most of them don't really know. It's just painting by numbers. And it's not really about um, trusting people anymore. I think it's about trusting ourselves and trusting the gut. So I'm going in that direction myself. I'm learning to trust myself more instead of trusting that which I can manifest and you know, what I can be and what I can do. Like All of that is just dribble. 
and they're just like monkey business and they're just like a lot of control in the game and I also feel that a lot of the new age including the ayahuasca communities are just gonna die out and um, it's not gonna be that hurtful or painful because I don't think anybody really wants to go in that direction so um, in terms of me like I'm feeling it like uh, walking with gurus uh, that don't even know their gurus uh, has been very very uh, mind-opening and uh, in a way yeah interesting because if you just know people and you learn from other people especially if they're interesting people you don't need somebody like me so I think a guru is a person for a very lo lonely lonely type uh, of, of person you know I think that gurus usually get booked and hired by people that don't know what to do with their lives so uh, in terms of seeing somebody like me, I think it's better that you get a uh, ayahuasca ceremony with me than if you, you know, talk to me. And um, I think there's a lot of people that also still do need that work. Um, it's just so very hard, I think, for us all to really serve ourselves as well as serve others. And there are some true people, there are some true maestros, and I've seen a couple in my life. In my life, I've seen maybe two or three, like in my life. And I've been around, I've been around, I've been around. And I've seen very little people that actually know their stuff and I know everything's very PC and it's all just gift of the gab and just the trash that keeps them going around the circle is pathetic and how they mix in women's and you know sexuality like women's rights and you know like the yoni and the phallus and then they try to make it into something very seductive for everybody and of course sex sells everything even for the enlightened people. So I just don't think that uh, anybody needs it. I think there's just a lot of thumb sucking and not really being able to tell their own stories and there's a lot of like unenlightenment also and just a shushing and the use of previous patriarchal systems like through the tarot deck through the cards you know the angel cards with like the divine woman and the divine man and the divine everything and uh, people don't really need it actually after all uh, of that uh, knowledge I think also I don't believe that I would uh, do very well with just like bombarding people with information now also honestly, uh, so I will be changing up my YouTube channels and I will show you what my actual life is about, what my body is like, what my food is like, where I live, because I think I'd like to not necessarily, not necessarily become an influencer, it's more just about like sharing the truth of my life uh, and not just like sit there, you know, with like, like a face like this, you know, trying to like humiliate myself and also other people, because I think that a lot of the stuff that's online these days is just humiliation. And it's just like a basic need for some company um, that eventually gets replaced by religious philosophy and that creates uh, societal dystrophy and asymmetry and need for um, for like to be the main the main kind of like system eventually because it sort of drains you it drains your energy drains your gut drains your tissues so to come back to life and not being so wordy is uh, something that I've done recently and it's actually been very very uh, scary like to see like how much of my soul how much of my tissues have basically like decayed and decomposed because my soul tissues as well if like a soul had tissues just because I just become like this talking head and giving uh, advice even though a lot of it was well needed and a lot of it was well spoken I just like it wasn't all so um, I think it's good to come back to the holistic way uh, that people are learn about them if you have a guru if you have a coach um, you don't you don't need one but okay so say you do uh, learn about who they are, learn about what they've done and how they've been and what they do and if they are with somebody, learn who they're with, you know, so they're not just like switching partners every day and uh, calling themselves a shaman, which is not true, you know, uh, also if you like, yeah, learn about how they make their money and what they charge in comparison to other people, just get some statistics, like get some stats, you know, like where the person's living, what the person's doing, how they're going, um, what they have become over time, who they wanted to be, like where they have grown up, you know, and also what they want to do eventually, like say for a job or a lifestyle. And uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I got a little bit of a, I got a little bit of a urge. Oh, that's good shot. Look, this that's my boyfriend. This is my partner. Okay, yeah, my partner is Venezuelan. Yeah, okay, mm, he's eight years younger than me, right? Yeah, so that's not something that I was looking for, but it just happens. Mm, okay, so how do I live? So I want to show you where I live, right? So I live in the forest. I got to come clean. I love Peru. And I love living completely untouched by people. So this place is really secluded. There is just forest around. We basically have no neighbors that are close to us. 
and I suppose I should show you my house. So I know that a lot of uh, these, you know, plastic gurus, they sometimes like stand in front of like some cars or like a really big mansion. It's not necessarily this. There's some, we collect rubbish bags. There's just rubbish bags in there. We haven't cleaned up or anything. So that's like the house that we live in. It's a two-story little house. It's a cottage. Now, as you can see, it's made out of uh, wood and it's made out of uh, clay, I suppose. Yeah, it's made out of clay. And on the second story is a bedroom. Uh, there are two beds, just, just so you know. <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, this little line here is the internet. We get fiber optic internet here. So yeah. Okay, so this is a little couch here. It's been raining a lot recently, so uh, yeah. A little couch. A little window into the house where you see how uh, people live. Um, what else? Now my boyfriend is like all shy. Yeah, he knows what I'm doing. I want to actually um, show you also putting on some shoes because you never you never know what's inside the ground. You never know. Okay, so uh, here is where the magic happens. Now this is pretty wild. Maybe for some people it's pretty gross. But this is a little garden. As you see, we just put all the compost in the middle. We don't process it like in a fancy way. And here are some of our wins. I'm not sure if you can see it. I think here is like, like a little pepper. We've got some papaya growing here. Okay, uh, what else is here? Here's some freaking tomatoes. I'm not sure if you can see them very well. I don't know. I'm actually recording this on the laptop, so I'm not sure. And this little plant here is kaiwa. It looks like marijuana, but it's not as kaiwa. It's like a certain vegetable that lives in the ground. <laughs> Did you know? And yep. As a clothing line, we also dry our clothes, as do other people. <laughs> uh, here's a fern. I love it. And uh, here's like a little uh, plant island, I suppose. Yeah, so uh, we also grow avocados, as you can see. These are little avocado trees there. Very cool. So um, we grow stuff from seed. Yeah, very glamorous. <laughs> My life is so glamorous right now. So... Uh, <laughs> And uh, we also collect seeds. So uh, here, there is just like a lot of little seeds. And we put those in the ground, eventually. And eventually, they would, hopefully, sprout, walking out of the main house. And this amazing little structure here is just the bathroom. This is the bathroom here. It has hot water. So, uh, yeah, it's not very interesting. Like, it's not a very ambitious house. You know, it's not like a very uh, plastic, fantastic influencer's house. It's just... Look, there's like... They've even tried to patch up the roof here. Look at this. Very creative uh, with some metal. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, it's just the bathroom here. Very simple. Nothing to see here. It's just a... Oh, it's just a bathroom. You know, here's where people shower. It's very wild, very rustic. I'm not even sure if I'm holding the camera properly. Okay, very rustic little bathroom. But uh, very nice. We have a water filter. We don't buy the bottled water, even though it probably would be wiser. What else? Where else are we? What else can I share with you? I suppose the inside of the house, right? Because that's what usually people like to see. So, um, here's a couch. It's a little bit undone. Somebody's been napping. You know? Oh, somebody's been napping on the couch. I don't know who that could have been. <laughs> yeah, so um, also, yeah, here are some decorations. I love decorating the house. So I've got to show you this. There are some termites up there. You know, this line on the wall is termites. Made some things from clay. Yeah. 
some wares. Also, uh, here's a chikapa and made that sort of a weaving weaved thing with coconut uh, coconut leaf. Yeah, so that's the painting. I think everybody knows that painting by now. <laughs> and I suppose, yeah, I should uh, show you what's on the other side. So on the other side is the kitchen. Whoa, wowza. Yeah, I know, it's pretty unorganized. Well, it's actually very well organized. It just doesn't have any cupboards. This is our kitchen. This is how we eat. And here is also what we have. Here we have a... Uh, water filter and I've gone ahead and hung those little pots and pans and things up because that's kind of how I like things. This is one of my favorite things. Not the drum actually, I used to really love it, not so much. This is the favorite thing. This is a beautiful, uh, cozy, really cozy seat. I got it from my uh, lovely store and up there is uh, just a drum. The drum that I use for the vi videos, for the videos, and yes, uh, lovely view outside, sitting arrangement there. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so uh, coming upstairs, this is a bit messy. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> okay, but maybe some. I don't know. This is one of the beds. Okay. So I did like a music video this morning of the sounds outside, the rain outside. So I thought I'd show you, share with you, despite the messiness of the bedroom at the moment, as we did not tidy up. Just, um, yeah, the beauty of uh, living like this. Really, really always wanted to live in the tropics. I suppose that was it. And yes, it's been a wonderful chatting to you today. And I guess the point was just to break through. I, I kind of like challenging myself and breaking through a little bit sometimes. And uh, if I'm going to have like a personal channel, I may as well just like <laughs> tell people about pretty much everything. I think because uh, it's like a growing experience, I think for me also. I think that we forget who we are and I think people get really like out of mind and the story with this is I think that um, a lot of people like build themselves a platform based on something they're good at and something that they want others to see and I think that we forget about all the other aspects of us of our souls and our lives and I think um, that causes terrible things you know so we become just a product we're just like somebody that somebody likes to know or know about and I think that's uh, it's really beautiful now like these days to be able to just like show it whatever it is you know and if I'm going to be out there dancing or moving or talking or reading for people or singing I may as well just like show people who I am because I think I think it's like a nice kind of philanthropical uh, question mark um, watching people online or learning about other people's lifestyles and decisions because I don't think that we're just learning through like things that are good I think we also like want to know where we're going to go and how we're going to live eventually I think as individuals and as society and as people and I think it's important to uh, come through also for others and also to invite them if they do ever want to come to Peru they can if they want to live like us sure but you see, there's like no jacuzzi here. It's my like, it's not like jacuzzi and like here's my like very expensive like, um, I don't know, like cashmere blanket and I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, it's not that wild either. It's just, uh, it's kind of like, I think it's unfortunate that uh, people shun nature these days. And I do definitely understand why. I know why. And it's because maybe, I don't know, I think that's maybe because of what, people eventually want to be like so they'll just become that which they believe and uh, it's a wonderful world it's great to be free and to have the power to, to do that you know you just become what you believe and um, yeah I suppose like the theory of attraction coming back to the first part of the video I think it looks gorgeous on you if you want to just like manifest yourself like 
I don't know, like the stuff that I also actually kind of manifested when I was younger. Yeah, you can do that. It's just, uh, I don't know, maybe it's time to grow up. I don't know. Maybe it's also time for me to grow up. It's a big question mark, isn't it? Like attainment, attainment and having stuff, having things, you know, and like being somebody and uh, having something that somebody else doesn't or being somebody that somebody else cannot be. <laughs> Just like, I don't know, maybe it's just about being yourself and just knowing who you are and then being trusted for that, which you are and what you do. Maybe it's just all about just being normal and being yourself. And then eventually uh, life wheels you out. And those uh, people that don't want that in their life, they'll just, you know, click. It's just like a click of a button and they, they won't believe in you. They don't remember you. Um, and then like some people will. So maybe, maybe that's what it's like. Maybe that's... Maybe that is also what is tough. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe I don't need to talk. Maybe somebody else needs to talk. <laughs> Thanks.